cast out for near because I think she's just don't pull it too much. Let it set like she's hooked something big here. It might be a bass. This just gentle, gentle. It is a bass. Gentle, gentle, mate. Just gentle. You don't need. To, you don't need to just keep your head tip up in there. That's it. Good girl. All right, quick. So there, look, bass. Beautiful bass. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good eating size. That. But I need to just Google something and make sure that we can take him. Yes, because I'm not sure what the rules are. I think we're all right to take him. He's a nice size to eat. First cast, I cast it out. She just come down. And that's that. Is, what a session! Get in. The fishing squad, the bass that um, that you saw on the footage just a minute ago, a moment ago, is here. Um, we're going to really maximise the, well, get get the most we can off of this fish. It's a two pound fish, 46 centimetres, so it's well within legal limit. You'd be best off eating a fish of this size. I'd, I'd rather not kill a big one, basically. I don't think it's good good practice, that. The bigger, older bass, you know, the, the, the pedigree breeding stock, if you like, you don't really want to be eating them. They want to be going back. I ain't kept a bit. It's a bit of a taboo subject. This bass fishing. You're not allowed to kill them in January and February. Um, you're only allowed. I, think, I believe you're only allowed to take two a day anyway. It's a bag limit. So I wasn't sure when I caught this. Well, sorry, when Nick caught it, I didn't catch it, did I? I wasn't sure when Nick caught it whether we're able to take it or not. But we'd gone down originally, hoping to catch some pollock. We didn't catch any pollock. We, we caught we caught this bass. So he or she is for the table tonight, and he's going to be enjoyed. Very much so, and we probably won't kill another bass for another 10 or 12 years. So, but it is a taboo subject, but you know, it's been honestly caught, it's been humanely dispatched, and uh, it's gonna make a nice meal. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna fill it in. We're gonna probably do four foil parcels, two will like get a fillet off him, half it, put the bony section in one, which is the top bit where all the rib cages and stuff, I'll be eating the rib I'll be having the, that's at that end, and Nick and Kins can have the, the bottom half where there's a lot less bones. So we'll get him filleted, and then we'll show you what we're doing in terms of ingredients, now we're going to cook him. Uh, I've said I'm going to do some foil parcels, I tried to start cutting into it, and it's really <coughs> tough, really bony. I don't think I'd do it justice, so I'm just going to do it as one steak and put it in a foil parcel like that way, like lemon, but, uh, garlic, shallots, parsley, a bit of cream, a bit of wine, lemon, and yeah, and that's it, yeah, basically. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, just, we'll just, I'll just give it a rinse, I'll just give the cavity a rinse. So, I'm just, I'm just blending. So, I'm, so we'll give the cavity a rinse, and we're just going to pat it down with a kitchen towel, and we're going to put it in some. Uh, foil. I'll show. I'll show you that in a minute. Right, so all I've done. I've cut. I've trimmed the fins off now. Decided to trim the fins off before we cook it. Put it in some foil. Now I'm going to put some lemon, fresh lemon, in this cavity. We've got any butter. And we need some salt and pepper as well. Okay. Right. We're going to put some shallots in this cavity. <coughs> There's going to be some shallots over the top of them as well in a minute. We'll put. Just put. Don't, don't be shy. Best thing to do with this is just don't be shy. We need butter. Got some butter, anybody? Thank you. Well, it's flora. Real butter works better. But we'll, we'll, we'll do it. Yeah. We'll do it with it. Top. Yeah, right, so let's get a <coughs> nice knob of butter to go in his cavity. Garlic in his cavity, in his cavity. Spread it out a bit, quite a bit. Then we're gonna basically make a bit of a drip. It's like a dressing, I suppose you'd call it. We we'll put some lemon juice on the top of him. It's a bit, it's a bit like what the sauce that you get over your muscles. This is gonna be like, you know, when you you, might, you get muscles in pub. It's got like a white wine, lemony, oniony, garlicky sauce that goes on the top of it as well. So I'm just gonna 
it'll do, it'll sweat down nicely, it'll win for about 20, 25 minutes. I will probably give it longer because I haven't cooked one for a long time. I don't want to, I don't want it to, I don't want it, that's the thing I want it for it to be raw. I'm gonna, right, yeah, I'm just, uh, just go for it, go for it with everything. So you're gonna seal up in bag, so it's all gonna sweat, sweat together. It should work out quite well. Put a couple extra knobs of butter on the top of this. Oh. Someone's gonna end up with garlic butter here tomorrow. Oh. Let's get another spill. Let's get a spill, sorry. Proper butter works way better, like, but we'll all we'll do. It's a really, it's gonna be a really rich sauce, this, like, really rich. It's going to fall sides of the bit foil because we need to put some liquid in there as well. We'll put parsley in as well. Plenty of parsley on the top. Put some more lemon juice in. Oh. This fish is going to be absolutely good. Is it making you hungry, anybody? Yeah. Yeah? It's making me hungry. Thing about it is when you when you get pollock, <coughs> pollock's got a funny smell to it when it's raw. And then you add stuff to it like flour and seasoning, and, it, you, know, and you start cooking. And you think it, it changes. It just you think, oh, it smells really nice. This, but when you go to pollock and you fill it to pollock, it's got a real funny taste to it. It's kind of not not very appetising. Bass hasn't really got much of a smell to it. It's quite neutral. Pepper. I hope you like, hope you like pepper. No. Bit of salt. Well, it'll be alright anyway. We won't taste it. Right, so we're going to just put the sides up a bit more. The, the base of the sauce really is like onion, garlic, cream and white wine. Which is basically what you get when you get your mussels in it up at that um, pub or where the fish seafood restaurant. So we're going to put quite a bit of wine on the top. White wine. Like that. Bit of single cream. All flavours are just going to like mix together. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Right, let's give this cream a bit of a stir. I'm going to have to get another spoon now. Oh. There's no real exact measurement. As you can see, I'm just doing it by eye. I put quite a bit of cream in as well. Half a half a pot. That'll be alright for coffee in the morning. So I've got a oh this is gonna work. It's quite a, as long as we get it so it doesn't leak, it should be okay. Just want it really to sweat but and steam. I might just have to put a bit of an extension on top of this. Just to enable it to steam a bit. So we can keep it all together as well. So we're gonna just look at other onto there like that. It smells amazing already. Just tuck it tuck it under. As long as you keep it tucked under. <coughs> you don't need to be proper tight once the steam. I'm going to put it in oven on about. Well, I'm going to put it in oven on about 180. Then the oven's free. <laughs> just give me a sec. Nick's just going to take the bread out that we've got in the oven. I'm going to put the fish in on top. The bread and pizza. Right, so put fish on in a minute. Just going to whip these out. These <laughs> videos are this joint. We're ready for oven. All right. So the fish is going in the oven. If I can just lower the door down. It's going in. A, uh, it's hot. That. Um, it's going in at, it wants to go on 180 for about 20 minutes ideally, but I'm going to leave it in probably for a little bit longer because I want to make sure it's cooked and people enjoy it. Well, I'll check it after 20 minutes, if you check it after 20 minutes, we'll see what it's like, and then uh, it needs a bit longer, we'll give it a bit longer. It's falling off at bone after 20 minutes, that's brilliant. 20 minutes, probably going to give it a bit longer. But look at that, it's looking gorgeous. Mm. Look at that. Mm. 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 Mm.
Look at that, right? Eh? It wants a bit longer. It's not, it's not bubbling, is it? Well, it's probably going to want another 10 or 15 minutes. It'll just depend on. I, I'm not an expert at cooking, to be fair, or like that. I'm putting a video on to show you what we've done, I've done today, really. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll depend on how big your fish is, well, and stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to seal it back up and put it back in. Just got it out of oven. I cranked it up to 200 and left it for 15 more minutes. Evening. And that is how you want it. You want your cream and your butter looking like that. Your parts looking like that, shallots like that. I've got a bit of nice colour on, skin on, uh, bass. I think this will be... In my belly. Yeah, I think it'll be gorgeous. What a way to end a brilliant day. So what food I'll take with? Even if I did ask her, uh, who was a bit bossy with Nick Haley on me. <laughs> didn't, want my tea, didn't want my tea to get away though, did I? <laughs> right. I don't think I'd get away with it any other time. <laughs> Like, yeah, we've got all this to eat as well, and obviously we're uh, going to wash it down with a few bevies as well. So, cheers, guys. We'll, uh, well, we'll serve it up, and we'll see what it will put a bit of a, well, put a bit of a extra on about what it tastes like and stuff. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. <laughs> Everyone's starving. I'm doing video. <laughs> well, we've uh, still a bit left. Kids have tasted it and they're very impressed with it, aren't you? It's, yeah. it's so, so absolutely gorgeous. And Nick obviously had it. We tried a bit. Mm. Yeah. So it's going down really well. The, the sauce is just, we've got like some bread as well to go into sauce, so that's going to be really nice. So I'm quite happy with that. So uh, yeah, that's our first cook and catch it on uh, Fishing Squad UK. Yeah, we can see sometimes some of the videos are a bit just look at Emily going, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, some of the videos are a bit disjointed. No, there's no problem with my videos. I don't, I don't sit here and think, oh, um, Is that Thomas? I, de I decided halfway through when I was going to fillet it that we're doing it as a full steak and I'm going to get all oh, the meat off that. Look, you've just got bones left. There's a bit of meat left here that I'm going to fish out in a bit. Don't kids want a bit more in a bit, but um, we've, we've really used the full fish, and that's, that's what you've got to do with bass, isn't it? Because there's not many of them really about and stuff. You know, people have got greedy over years with them. Like I say, it's a taboo subject, but we're going to enjoy this one. And uh, yeah, keep safe, guys. You know, tight lines. Have a good one. I'm out in the morning, so uh, there'll be another video going on in the morning as well. So enjoy. Bon appetit.